How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to talk about exporting from Cinema 4D into After Effects. Uh, and I know there's been a lot of problems dealing with some of the plugin issues, uh, being able to get it actually into After Effects, and I'll address that problem here in a sec. Uh, but first I'm going to go over the export settings. So if you click right up here, um, click on save. What we're going to be saving this, this file as is an RPF. And you're going to want to turn on your alpha channel and your 24-bit dithering. Uh, make sure you have multi-pass selected over here. Uh, you're going to also go ahead here and save it in the same folder. I'm just having my Cinema 4D project files. Um, this also needs to be an RPF file. And down here on the compositing project files, uh, make sure you select uh, save, relative, and include 3D data. And your target application is obviously After Effects. So once you get that set up, I guess I'll talk about uh, anti-aliasing real quick. Um, I feel like the best anti-aliasing, even though this is a really quick and easy animation, there's no real reflections or anything like that, um, turn on best and turn on uh, still image. I just have found that that's always been the best. But besides that, uh, once you're ready, set and ready to go, uh, I have this quick little animation right here with just a camera, light, and cube. Uh, go ahead and click your render. And I'll be back once this is done. Okay, and the render is now finished. We're going to go over here. You can see that we have the box demo.aec, which is After Effects Composition, and that's all ready to go. But if I try to open that, it will not open in After Effects because I don't have the compatible plugins for After Effects to be able to talk to Cinema 4D. So if you go to www.maxin.net, slash downloads slash updates slash plugins dot html and i'll put a link to this in the description of this video uh you're going to want to know what your version of after effects is i'm running after effects cs5 and i'm using cinema 4 uh which is or 40 r 11.5 and you can find out what version you're running obviously just come up here click about your version uh, version 11.5 so i'm going to go ahead and download this real quick and it has uh, version plugins for both Windows and Mac OS X. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. CS5. And I want the OS X version. And I'm going to go ahead and double click it and unzip it. Okay, so I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to drop them just right onto my desktop over here. Close some of these windows. Uh, first thing I need to do is go find my Cinema 4D project file, which is my 4D R11.5, and in Exchange Plugins, right here, you're going to want to go down until you find Mac OS X, or you go to After Effects, Mac OS X, and then there's the CS3, CS4, is what my version 11.5 came with, um, but I'm using CS5, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just drop this right in the Mac OS X folder so that um, Cinema 4D will know how to talk to this file format. And then I'm going to go over to my applications, uh, Adobe After Effects, go find my plugins folder. And I, you can see I've already dropped it in there. But you just take that and drop it right in your plugins folder. I have the, the plugin for the CS3, CS4, but that's going to make it so I can open this in After Effects. So if I go to After Effects right now, I go to File, Open, or sorry, Import, File. I'm going to go to the box demo, .aec, open it up, and you can see now that I have my RPF my camera, my light, and my composition. So, we can play that through for you. And that's how you get uh, your animation from Cinema 4D into After Effects. If you have any questions, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I try to get back to people as soon as possible, but thank you for watching.